going on, everybody? It is Physical Friday, and last week we talked about how you can make a workout out of golf, inspired by the Masters Tournament, thanks to my friend Rick Hart. And again, this week, we're going to talk about another workout that was given to me, shared to me by Rick Hart and his group. These guys have some really great ideas, and they've been doing this workout for many years when it comes to the time of the year where we all celebrate March Madness. March Madness, as you know, is a basketball tournament. There's a tournament bracket. A lot of people are are interested in trying to um, predict the bracket. Um, lots of people do that, right? So everybody's going to be familiar with how a tournament bracket works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change that slightly and create a workout out of the tournament bracket. And again, it's just something fun to do. And you can make a surprisingly difficult workout from it. Um, so what you can do is you can either draw out a tournament bracket yourself, just on a piece of scratch paper, or if you want to do something like I did, I went to the, um, the app store and I found that there was a tournament bracket maker that I could purchase for 99 cents. It was called... Bracket Maker Pro, I think. I'm going to put it on the TV right now behind me for the people that are watching on video. But if you are listening on audio, I'm going to explain this uh, very well. So if you're going to draw out your bracket, you can have eight teams, you can have 16 teams, you can have 30, 32 teams, what, any format you want. You can make it double elimination, you can make it single elimination. But for the purposes of this podcast, let's make it a 16-team uh, a format and single elimination, okay? So instead of having North Carolina and Duke and, and, and all the other teams on there, we're going to put exercises on the tournament bracket. So for this example, I chose eight weightlifting exercises and eight uh, body weight type exercises, okay, for the, for the 16. So a weightlifting one would be something like the first one up here, 21 thrusters at 95 pounds. Going up against, that's the first team, going up against 21 pull-ups, okay? So what I did is I just, just listed out exercises all the way down. So we have 21 thrusters at 95 pounds against 21 pull-ups, 21 kettlebell swings at 95 pounds, or, or at 53 pounds, sorry, against 200 flutter kicks. 21 back squats at 135 against um, 21 GHD sit-ups, 21 clean and jerks up against five muscle-ups, 21 deadlifts against 21 dips. Uh, and these can be whatever. So we, we've gone down, we, we've gone through this. Uh, we'll continue through 21 single arm dumbbell snatches uh, against 100 sit ups, 21 sumo deadlift high pulls against 50 push ups, 21 overhead squats against 200 double unders. So the, the exercises that I chose aren't as important as just understanding how I have this set up. We have a tournament bracket. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, the first game of the, of the tournament, which will be 21 thrusters against 21 pull-ups. So you and your friends, or just yourself by yourself, can decide which of those would you rather do or which of those would you rather not do. And depending on, on how, you know, are you going to make this a really, really difficult workout or are you going to make, try to make it as easy as possible? Let's, let's try to make it as easy as possible. So 21 thrusters at 95 pounds, or you can do 21 pull-ups. Which would you prefer to do? Most people would rather do the 21 pull-ups. So 21 pull-ups wins. You do the 21 pull-ups. Now the 21 pull-ups moves into the next bracket. The next game is 21 kettlebell swings versus 200 flutter kicks. Which one would you rather do? Some people would rather do 200 flutter kicks. Some people would rather do kettlebell swings. Let's say, let's say kettlebell swings wins. We do the 21, we do the 21 kettlebell swings. <laughs> this thing keeps, keeps dying on me. The, the phone does. So you go through the uh, 21 kettlebell swings. 
they they advance. Then the next one is the 21 back squats at 135 versus 21 GHD sit-ups. I'm going to say let's do uh, let's do the 21 GHD sit-ups. So that's going to advance. Then the next one, 21 clean and jerk or five muscle-ups. Personally, I'm going to go with five muscle-ups if I'm trying to make it easier. And you're going to continue on down the line and advance the ones that you want to do. So now in the second round, after you've gone through there and you've done eight exercises on the first one, it's a, it's a round of 16. So you've, you've done eight of those. Um, then you move it to the next one. So now we have 21 pull-ups versus 21 kettlebell swings. Which would you rather do? I'm going to say most people would rather do 21 pull-ups. So 21 pull-ups is what you're going to do. That advances. Okay. You continue to do this all the way down. But here's the trick that Rick and his group do is we are making it as easy as possible today. Let's say today is Monday. So we're going through this bracket and we're choosing the easiest exercises. Well, on Thursday, you have to do this thing again, but you have to do the ones that you didn't pick. Okay, so eventually you're going to go through all of these and and eventually you're going to uh, to to do them. One day is going to be harder than the other. So that's the way they do it you know, around the March Madness. They kind of do it around the final four, I think. And uh, and it's a fun little thing to do. So you can if you do it like I have and you uh, get this app, the other interesting thing that you can do on this app is you can um, you can save your tournament. You can also save the teams. So once you have have put in all these exercises, you can move them around to other tournaments. You can also shuffle the teams. So just because it was the way that it showed up today, if you shuffled them, it might make this work out very, very different. And you could do this all on body weight and it would be an excellent travel workout for you to do. So I hope that you are um, getting, getting this. It's very, um, it's really easy once you see how it works, but you're going to just create that tournament bracket, put in eight or 16 or 32 different exercises, and then just pick the ones that you prefer to do. And you know, that's, that's a good way to do it. But if you've got the David Goggins mindset, pick the ones that you really don't want to do. Okay. Make it, make it hard. Like which one's harder? Let's do that one. And then you'll eventually go to where there'll be a champion. And that will either be the, the easiest or the hardest exercise. And you'll end up doing that. So let's just say on this particular one, let's just say 21 pull-ups wins. So you're going to do 21 pull-ups, one, two, three, four, five times uh, for, for this, this deal. Actually, four times. In the finals, in the semifinals, in the quarterfinals, and in the round of, of uh, 32. Okay? So each one, it works just like a tournament. And, uh, and that's really cool. A lot of people are going to like this one because a lot of people understand the tournament format and it gives you something fun to do. Uh, get you. The other thing I like about this is if you have a big, big group, you can just point at somebody and say, which one do you want to do? And then the whole group does whatever exercise they do or they say, and then you can have the whole group doing the same workout and it's a surprise to everyone. Nobody under, nobody knows what is going to happen and it's all up to whoever picks whatever, whatever they pick. You can make it as hard as you want, as easy as you want. You can incorporate running. You can incorporate swimming. You can incorporate anything you want into this format. It's very cool, and I really appreciate it. So thanks again, Rick Hart, for that and your group. You guys have some good ideas. If you also have some good ideas about this particular workout or any other workout, Specifically, if it's games, I've been collecting these games. Uh, now we've done March Madness bracket. Last week we did the Masters. I talk about the deck of cards all the time. Uh, we can do a dice game. Um, there's lots of things, lots of lots of games that we can 
that we can play and just to make it a little bit more fun, throw some variety into the workout and just just keep things interesting and keep things fun. That's what I like to do. Okay, that's Physical Friday for this week. If you like this workout, text me and let me know. If you hate this workout, text me and let me know. And uh, I don't know, if you come up with something cool, text me and let me know. All right, that's Physical Friday for this week. We'll see you next week. Thank you.